Right, good afternoon ladies and gents, it's Anthony Carpen here just by the river between uh, Midsummer Common and Newmarket Road. And as you can see, it's an incredibly bright day outside as we carry on with our series of Cambridge, the shaping of our city. Now, I've come over to this side of town because I'm looking to see if I can get a table clamp from Mackay's to do some scanning of some old historical books that I found. But the reason why I've jumped off the bus stop here just by the Burley Arms and by Christchurch is because I just want to have a look around the, the area that was formerly known as the, as the Kite. And also looking at, hang on a minute, sorry mate looking at the area where they're planning on building a new second bus stop. I've just walked past Barnwell House and that's a historical reminder that the area that we, I guess, currently know as Barnwell is actually now further to the east of the city. The original Barnwell being around here because I believe that's where the old Barnwell Abbey used to be. So we're just crossing Newmarket Road, obviously because it was the main road out to Newmarket and we've got Auckland Road just there. And I'm just taking you to Christchurch, not the college, but the church. Because it's one of the few surviving community stroke civic buildings in this part of town that survived the Grafton renovations. And there it is. And as a building, it's, it's quite a magnificent building. I've never actually been in there, um, but I'm not gonna go in there just yet because actually what I want to do is similar to what I did with the, the Orthodox Church. Let's see if I can get you better light, that's better. What I want to do is kind of similar with the, the, the Orthodox Church that's now in the United Reformed Church on Cherry Inton Road as I did with Councillor George Pippas. Oh, sorry, still got lots and lots of light. Um, what I want to do, um, perhaps as a future project, is to feature and just do a history of some of the uh, current and former churches to look at their history and how they helped shape how they helped shape even uh, at the growth of our city. And not just with the churches, with the other religious buildings. We've also got the Burley Arms, which is just over there. Unfortunately, the camera can't pick it out. Um, but let's see if I can turn the camera around and use the better one at the front. There you go, that's the Burley Arms. And uh, it's the local of one of my old workmates from the civil service, Nada Khalifa who is also a, now a Labour Party uh, activist. And he is the, or certainly was, the manager of a local football team, a local amateur football team called Long Road Rangers, who certainly under his tenure were <laughs> incredibly successful. When you look at their, their league record, it was quite something. Anyway, so as I said, we've got Barnwell House over there. And we're now coming to a very, very interesting and fascinating building, um, which again, I'm gonna feature in another video because it's another councillor, this time, uh, Councillor Oscar Gillespie of the Cambridge Green Party, who, I do apologize for the, uh, for the lighting. Um, Oscar Gillespie of the Cambridge Green Party is also one of the people who comes to this place regularly, and it is the Cambridge Buddhist Centre. Now, this place used to be a cinema as well as the Barnwell Mission, and if you look at these photographs that I managed to pick out of the archives, you can see some very, very interesting uh, illustrations as well as some wonderful photographs of the interior and every so often you can actually come around and visit the Cambridge Buddhist Centre and see the interior of the theatre. Um, I mean I'm hoping that 
someday soon it's going to be in much more regular use. Now, this part of town, again, it's all around the old kite area and you can see a lot of the buildings now are relatively new so they haven't survived or rather the original buildings haven't really survived the the big clearances and you can see some very very interesting photographs just here of what it used to what it used to be like and what we've got over there is the Grafton Centre and again you can see many of these buildings date from kind of like the 1980s, 1990s and so on. Now this particular street, Sun Street, is actually one of the places where they're potentially looking at having the new or a new bus station because uh, for those of you who are following the fun and games of the city deal there's one of the things I've realized is that Drummer Street is not going to be able to take the several hundred buses that are planned on coming in under the current plans. They need to have somewhere else to have the buses and this is one of the areas that they're looking at doing or looking at having them. Now what you've got over on that side and again the camera that camera can't pick it up so I'm going to switch. What we've got here Again, looking at New Market Road, is you've got a whole host of, there's Elizabeth Way roundabout, a whole host of new or relatively new flats by the Cambridge Dental Hub. Obviously, you've got Cambridge Building Society over there. Now, this actually used to be where the Cambridge Evening News had their printing presses. And it used to be they used to have their old offices as you can see in this photograph next to the what was the new theatre and when that got demolished so the new theatre is basically just up the road from the University Arms Hotel and where Maplin and Sainsbury's currently are and we went and visited the Cambridge Evening News's printing operation there They've since moved out to Milton. The other thing, and you can see, again, if we look just over there at another set of new apartments, that used to be part of Cambridge Regional College. And again, I'm familiar with that because about 10 years ago, that was where their health and beauty buildings used to be and you could basically go there for things like remedial massages by their students for about 10 quid and you can still do that now up at their new park facility up out on King's Hedges Road. Um, again for those of you who don't know I actually did teacher training at Cambridge Regional College training to become uh, an, adult, uh, an adult education tutor and it's a really really good course um, and the re one of the reasons why it was so useful is not least because of the legislation which now requires anyone who's teaching an evening class for over 16s to have um, what was known as the PETALS or the Preparing to Teach in the Lifelong Learning Sector course certificate which I got. So I'm now crossing the road to my guys I really shouldn't be doing it here but I'm gonna do it anyway because what we have over here is one of the longest established firms in Cambridge. So I'm going to go in there and see if they've got a clamp. So I'll see you soon.